being the avid gym goers that we are, there's obviously a lot of stereotypes connected to people who go to the gym and work out. So we're gonna go through a little checklist and see if we fit any of those. We found this list off muscleandstrength.com. We'll leave it in the description below. So if you guys happen or want to read it, it'll be down there to read for your pleasure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell button, and smash the like button. It really helps us out. So let's begin. Number one, the coach. You've all seen him, I'm sure you have around the gym. The person who goes up if you're working out or you see them go up to someone else. I mean, they don't have to necessarily interrupt them. Say after they're set, they go up and go, hey man, you're doing those tricep pushdowns wrong. Let me give you a little tip. So generally, I don't like to consider myself fitting in as the coach. Um, I'd say the closest thing I've come to being that person is correcting a friend's form. A lot of my friends like to come with us to the gym because they think we're big for some reason and they want to look like us for some reason. So generally it's just teaching them the exercises as opposed to correcting some random guy that you see at the gym doing something that you believe is wrong. So I don't think we fit that one very much, personally. Stereotype number two is the howler or the guy who screams at the top of his lungs during his set. Now, there are a few of those at the gym I go to. Uh, you can hear these guys from miles away, like they're screeching Bigfoot house, you know. Uh, I don't do that. I mean, I'll give the occasional the occasional grunt. Yeah, like the little uh, toned down grunt when I'm really struggling. But I'm not gonna sit there and scream my fucking head off at a set. Mm -hmm. Stereotype number three is the tornado. Oh, these weights? Yeah, I'm still mid set, dude. I'm still used. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm done. I got like three sets left. Thanks. <sighs> AKA, the guy who has copious amounts of weights surrounding him, copious amounts of dumbbells and the dude who just hogs everything for himself and never really shares or has the specific weight that you need, but it's the one he hasn't touched in 20 minutes because he's surrounded by a sea of metal. Uh, no, we don't do this. That's just a uh, pretty bad gym etiquette. If you use your weight and you're done with it, put it away. If you're supersetting, grab like two at a time. Or if you finish one, set it back on the dumbbell rack, pick up your next weight. It's, I mean, it's easy, come on, it's easy. Next on the list, we have the gear aficionado. Gear aficionado is kind of what it sounds like. The person who has the armbands, uh, all the compression stuff, From face the masks, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, we kind of fit into this. I wouldn't, I don't wear like armbands or face masks or anything like that, but I wear like certain brands that I like at the gym, like Vanquish Fitness or, you know, brands like that that I like to wear. And I'd say I kind of fall into that category. So we'll, we'll give it a halfsy right there. Yeah. It's a slippery slope. I'd say we're brand aficionados and not gear aficionados. And the final fifth stereotype for the gym is, of course, the soloist, AKA the person who's singing to their music, blaring it so loud that you can hear it through their headphones. And for, for me, air drumming. Yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Yeah, yeah, we do this. <laughs> uh, if I'll be listening to something and I'll just be really feeling the music. I'm, I'm in my head, I'm ready to go for the next set and say a wicked solo comes out or something and I'm just sitting there going like this with my hand looking like I'm kind of having a stroke. Yeah, just in the middle of the gym. Yeah, I'm just sitting there pretending to play air guitar in my head to my music and I'll hum it or one song in particular uh, that I, by Ice Nine Kills that I always listen to Song. They're a good band. Stabbing in the dark. There's a certain part in that song that'll come on, and I'm just like, I say it, and I, I, I <laughs> this do this is crazy good. facial this expressions. Is good. I just associate it with flies. I'm like, duh, and I do it. So I, mean, I kind of feel like an idiot. But then again, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely fit this one. Uh, I actually have a funny story. I was uh, doing some chest press on a machine, and I was really feeling this song, man. I'm just going at it on the drums. You know, I'm jamming to some Lamb of God Hourglass. And I can't help myself but play the beat of this song. And apparently I was on the machine a little bit longer than I thought. I don't think it was anything excessive, but apparently the old lady next to me thought so. So she yelled at me and told her husband that I was hogging the machine 
and she also told a staff member and that made me mad because I didn't feel like I was that bad or inconsiderate. She said I was never using the machine. I beg to differ. When a good song comes on, I like to jam to the good song. Old lady, go work out somewhere else if you're gonna be in jeans. No one wants to see that, bitch. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you feel like you fit any of these, go ahead and comment below. I know some people do, some don't, it's whatever. You know, and that's the, these aren't all terrible things. You know, you go to work out, do your own thing, pay no mind what other people are doing. You're there to do your shit and get out. Yep. So thanks guys for watching. As again, hit that subscribe button, the bell button, and the like button. Smash and it. Remember, uh, this article will be in the description box below. If you want to read it, check it out. There are 10 on the list. We only went through, oh, I did 10 on the list, 10. <laughs> 10 on the list, we only went through five, so uh, go feel free to check out the other five and see if you fit the bill, homies.